Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here, back at it with another Thanos video for you guys today. And this time, we're talking about how Thanos got the Black Order, Gamora, and Nebula, as revealed in the book that just came out, kind of detailing the whole thing. So, when Thanos was killing various worlds, he also used the technology of each world to kind of advance his own technology and also at the same time the Shatari technology since the Shatari were Thanos' personal army. Now in turn, like I said before, this advancement in Shatari technology allowed Thanos to make stronger Shatari warriors. In the process, he kept modifying the Shatari, modifying them, and eventually he had a select few Shatari modified at least that served as his heralds, more or less, that he would send to worlds to more or less prepare them for his inevitable entrance. The goal is that hopefully at this point they succumb to you know what Thanos is saying about killing half the population, and if not, well at least his heralds can kind of start the process of killing everybody. These heralds ended up becoming what we know as Ebony Ma, Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, and Cole Obsidian, aka the Black Order. And while they considered themselves children of Thanos, he didn't really see them that way, kind of just saw them more so as simply weapons. Thanos at this point was continuing his kind of killing of worlds until he actually reached Zehobari, and I totally butchered that, so my apologies, in the Silicon Star System. Now this is actually Gamora's home worlds, and instead of destroying that whole world, he decided to instead only eliminate half the population, and this case was equal to killing 1.5 billion beings. When Thanos went to this world, he decided to actually go to it personally, instead of watching it be destroyed from a ship from above, and there he met a girl who was willing to risk her own life to save her mother. And this really caught Thanos' attention, so taking the girl to the side, he learned this girl was Gamora. And this is actually kind of what we saw in the Avengers Infinity War movie, where he kind of takes baby, not baby, but little kid Gamora to the side with the knife and talks about balance. And Gamora kind of gives Thanos his first feeling of warmth that he hadn't felt in a long time because when Gamora touched his skin, Thanos actually, he felt warmth because beforehand in the past few years when people were trying to touch Thanos, it was usually because they were trying to kill him. It was a nice change of pace for Thanos to have someone touch him and it not be because they want to kill him. It wasn't because they had ill intent. It was harmless. And that really appealed to Thanos on top of the fact that Thanos witnessed Gamora kind of have a lot of guts and moxie, which really stood out to him. Deciding to adopt Gamora, uh, beforehand he wanted to protect her from witnessing the death of her mother and basically half her species. So this is kind of like we saw in Infinity War when he pulls out the knife and he distracts Gamora. So it distracts Gamora and he takes Gamora on a ship, uh, kind of adopts her as an orphan daughter of sorts and trains her. Thanos has a really interesting view of Gamora because when he sees Gamora, he views her as a potentially heir to him. Like if he were to die, she would succeed him. Upon trying to raise Gamora, eventually decides that Gamora needs someone to train that will really give her a proper match, along with someone that can help her with her social skills. Thanos obviously being the very, you know, analytical kind of book smart guy he is, decides she needs another sibling. He basically instructs the Black Order to kind of take more kids from different worlds when they're going to ravage them. And eventually Proxima Midnight shows Thanos a girl with blue and purple skin. The blue and purple skin, especially the purple part, really reminds Thanos of his own skin, so he decides to keep that child. As his second daughter, Thanos kind of hopes that Gamora and Nebula will be close, yet he also manipulates them to be really competitive against each other because he has a fear of them uniting to go against him. Now, Gamora would usually beat Nebula in combat but never give a killing blow, so whenever Nebula would lose, Thanos would replace a body part of Nebula's that was considered to be limiting to her and the reason why she lost. So for example, Nebula lost her eye because she said she didn't see an attack Gamora did when she did it. So because she quote unquote didn't see it, Thanos said, well maybe you'll see it with a new eye. And he just literally like rips her eye out, it's pretty bad. That's kind of how the whole cybernetic enhancement with the uh, nebula thing starts. And according to Thanos, you know, when kind of questioned about it, while they're not his children by blood, he does consider them his children in every way that matters. 
So comment below what you guys thought, so what do you guys think about this? I think it's really interesting that the Black Order are basically just modified Shatari. I kind of were hoping they were different, you know, alien species and stuff like that. I guess when you really look at it, you can kind of see the similarity. Comment below what you guys thoughts, and I'll see you guys later.